Hello and welcome to your Vidamo demo video. Um, this is the online platform that you will be using to deliver your coaching sessions with your pupil. And this video will go through how you can register and sign up for Vidamo, how you can test your um, account and, and make sure you're happy with how the functions work, uploading the activity handbook into your virtual classroom and then saving your work and then going through um, how to, where to go for any technical support. Before we begin, it's important that you are registering to Vidamo using the link that your program manager sent to you. And you'll know you're in the right place because at the top there, the URL will say futurefrontiersprogs.vidamo rather than something more generic. That will take you to a short registration form like this one. And we recommend you use your work email address to log in here and then you can log in to the future front, uh, the Vidamo platform. Vidamo always recommend using um, Google Chrome as the best um, platform for this, the best browser, um, and it helps the functionality. And we also recommend that once you're into your Vidamo page that you bookmark this so you can easily access it week on week for your sessions. This is what your Vidamo classroom will look like when you get into the, the platform. You'll first be signed up as a user and it will take your program manager a few days to adjust the settings to get you to access the full functionality of the platform. So you'll be a teacher and you'll know you're a teacher because it will say up here, view as teacher or view as student and you'll just keep that on there as teacher. We'll be checking this systematically. So don't worry about letting your program manager know that you've registered and you need to be registered for a teacher just ensure that you have registered at least one week before your first session so that they have time to upgrade your, teach, uh, your account to a teacher setting. This is what the main dashboard looks like, but the main tabs that you'll be using for this uh, program will be virtual classrooms, which is where you'll find your actual sessions and your file library, which is where you will upload the uh, activity handbook, which you'll use week on week for the sessions. So before we begin, it's important that you have your activity handbook uploaded into your file library. And to do that, you go onto the file library tab, click on to upload new file and select any file that you want um, to upload, which will be the activity handbook, which hopefully you will already have downloaded onto your desktop from the coach portal. You can find the activity handbook in the coach portal. So you'd select that one and click open. It will start uploading your file. It will upload down here and it will take a few minutes to convert. So please do be patient um, and wait for it to convert here. You'll be able to see when it's done, when your activity handbook title has turned blue and it's bold and it's there and it's ready to use in the library. And that's what you'll be using week on week in your sessions with your pupils. So that's the activity handbook now ready to go in the file library. And we'll now look into how you can actually test and then enter a session on Vidamo. For this one, you'll need to go into your virtual classrooms tab and you'll see in your virtual classroom that you already have a classroom called Future Frontiers Coaching. This is the one you'll be using for all of your sessions. So when it comes to your actual sessions with your pupils, you will always use the room that says Future Frontiers Coaching. If this isn't there yet and you want to test the platform, you can always click in to start a live session and make a test session for yourselves by clicking in, making a title that says something like test. So, you know, that's not your actual classroom for the program, but it's a test. Work through there and hit start now. If you wanted to test the platform before your main class is in there, you can use that start a live session function. However, for all of your sessions with your pupil, you must use this Future Frontiers Coaching Classroom. This classroom will be in there by the time you start the program. So please do be patient and make sure you're using this Future Frontiers Coaching Platform uh, Classroom for your sessions. Please don't worry if this says anything. It could say closed. It might say start now. Whatever it says is absolutely fine. Just make sure you're always using this one that says Future Frontiers Coaching and not anything else that you've created yourself um, for another reason. So when it comes to the day of your session, 
or before if you wanted to test it you'd click on to future frontiers coaching you'd come to a page like this and you'd hit reopen the session if it was this for the first session and you've um, not been into the session before to test it it might just say open this session or start now and that's absolutely fine as well but you just want to make sure that you're always using this future frontiers coaching classroom because that's where you'll meet your pupil in the sessions so you'll hit reopen the session and you'll come to a page like this all you need to do is scroll down and hit start now Vidamo will then take you through a few steps um, that you need to test your camera and your microphone to get you ready so just keep clicking allow and accept and close until you're in the classroom like I am now this is what you'll see when you first get into the classroom uh, but for the interest of this video I am going to close us down and close down the window where your pupil would be as well but this is what you would see um, in your activity handbook uh, in in your virtual classroom and when you get into your virtual classroom your screen will look just like this the first thing you'll want to do is upload the correct pages required for your session from the activity handbook simply head over to the paper clip here click select add files from file library and you'll see that the already uploaded activity handbook is ready and waiting for us Simply select this and hit input files. I then want to select it again and head on over to this plus symbol. I then want to select the files that I only need for this session. So I can see here, that these are all the pages for session one. These are all the pages for session two, session three, and so on and so on. The quickest way to select your files is unselecting all of the files and then just ticking the boxes that you require for that particular session. So in this instance, I would be completing session one with my pupil and then hit import files. And this then automatically uploads all of the files onto a separate page in the whiteboard. These are now ready to be annotated. So I can use the functions on this side to annotate and take notes to my pupil. We recommend it's the coach that actually takes notes because quite often you'll be able to paraphrase what the pupil is saying or capture and highlight some key information based on um, some of their responses to the questions you're asking them. Easiest way to do this is to use the text tool and then write something in the box for your pupil. You may also find it useful to use other tools such as the highlighting, but you, you have a play around and see what works best for you. You'll then work through this workbook like an ebook, taking notes and highlighting different parts of the questions as you go along. At the end of the session, it's really important that once your pupil leaves the call, you save this work as a PDF. The easiest and quickest way to do this is heading over to the three stack dots in the left hand side of the corner and then simply click export to PDF. This will save all of your notes from the session. Save these files in a folder on your desktop and at the end of the programme, send all four separate PDFs to your programme manager. Then next time in session two, three and four, you can do exactly the same thing. Select this and choose the relevant pages, but for session two, session three and so on and so forth. If you're ever having any technical difficulties with the platform, please go up here to the question mark, fill out a short form with your question, and this will take you directly to a technical advisor at Vidamo. And they've always told us that that's the best way to get a prompt response for any technical issues you might have. But also remember, your program manager will also be at school with your pupil in the session. So if you're in a session and you have technical difficulties, um, please do flag your program manager in the session um, and they may be able to help you as well. Um, but bear in mind, there are, there are lots of different people having their session at the same time. So it may be worth your while clicking on here for technical support. Finally, to end the session, you can leave the classroom by selecting this end button here. End the session. 
If you want to um, and you have feedback for the platform or for us, you can select these or you can write it in here. Otherwise, just hit submit and that's your session done. You can close this off and then you'll be back in your virtual classrooms dashboard. The final thing I want to show you is if you want to join your sector role model to a call, um, I will show you the steps on how to do that now. In session four of the programme, you will be facilitating a conversation between your pupil and a sector role model, and you'll need to invite them to your virtual classroom. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. You'll click on your Future Frontiers coaching room. And here you will find the classroom link. And this is what you will need to share with your sector role model. Share with them the URL from your classroom. Let them know what time they need to join the call. And then when you've reopened the session and you're in there with your pupil during session four, they will be able to meet you there. Of course, if you feel like doing a test session with them, then that's absolutely fine as well. And that's everything. I hope that has shown you how Vidamo works and what you need to do to ensure you're in the right place um, and you're happy with how the platform works. Of course, if you have any further questions, please do drop in to one of the Zoom drop-in sessions that we host every week. There are details of the links and the times on the coach portal. Good luck and I hope you really enjoy your sessions with your pupil.